You now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one. This is a good one right here. This is a good one. We got Jamel Charlo in the building. Yes. Yes. Undisputed. All the belts. All of them. That would be five, right? Plus the four, plus the Ring Magazine, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we talking about the WBC, the IBF, the WBO, the WBA, and the Ring Magazine. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of belts. That's already a Hall of Fame. If you don't do nothing else in boxing, you said, you know what, I'm going to kick back and be with my old lady. I'm going to put my feet up, Mm -hmm. smoke cigars. Big ass house, too. I'm talking about y'all niggas just living, living. Yeah. You already in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, for sure. I heard y'all was talking shit about me. Two. I have to pull up over here. Who was talking shit? Y'all. What, like, what, I, what, what we say? I don't know. About we was Charla. getting to the conversation. What y'all said about Charlo? What we say about Charlo? Oh, 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 yeah, you oh, and, you, 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 yeah, you and Terrence bang, bang. and all y'all was bang talking some shit about No, 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 no. No, mm-hmm. Terrence, Terrence was yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Terrence said what he said. But if we said anything, we going to stand on that shit. Damn. Right. Stand. So 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 yeah, 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 so whoever yeah. told you ain't yeah. tell you nothing right because we gonna stand because I'm I'm the one that sit here and I tell a motherfucker and I it ain't that I'm a boxing historian but I say I don't think you could do this and y'all don't think you could do that he was here when I told Earl I said Earl I don't think you could beat Terrence because you wear too much drip man Terrence look like he be somewhere lifting cows and shit yeah. <laughs> I stood on that shit right there with, so I'm we gonna stand on this shit yeah, yeah. and I bet me money you. on Earl yeah yeah me too you but feel what I'm saying? saying so yeah. I ain't gonna I bet twenty bands on him. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to win this down. So, you know, I, yeah. I, I don't never remember saying nothing about Jamel Charlo. Oh, okay. You got you to gotta refresh in my memory. I, I don't know, man. I thought y'all was just some Terrence. I thought I'd seen some. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Zip Recruiter. Attracting top talent when hiring is hard. And with the current labor market conditions, it's harder than ever. But Zip Recruiter is ready to tackle your recruiting challenges. Zip Recruiter knows how tough it is right now, but they figured out solutions for your problems you're facing. See for yourself. Right now, you can try Zip Recruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash game. So you can use Zip Recruiter right now for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash game. Need to hire ASAP? Zip Recruiter smart technology finds great matches for your jobs sooner than later. To reach more of the right people, ZipRecruiter posts your job to 100 plus job sites. When first dibs on talent, ZipRecruiter lets you invite the most qualified people to apply to your job. ZipRecruiter's pricing is straightforward, no surprise, costs, or none of that. Team up with hiring partners who understand what you need. ZipRecruiter. Four out of five employees who post on ZipRecruiter go to qualified candidate within the first day. Again, within the first day. Just go to exclusive web address to try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash game. Again, ZipRecruiter.com slash game. G-A-M-E. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Hire the right people. ZipRecruiter. I gotta check back in with my boy. Yeah, see, oh, see, see, yeah, wrong. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Somebody told you something wrong. <laughs> yeah, see? I gotta check see? Back somebody tell you team. something wrong. <laughs> and right now, and right now, what's his name? Shout out to Terrence. You still my brother from another mother. I know you upset with me, but I just gotta tell you something. One thing about this boxing thing, mm, boxing is about marketing and the promotion. Yes. The dudes is bigger, they get the most money. There's yes. niggas running around with a lot of belts, they're not getting no money. They not getting no money. Cause they ain't got the right marketing on them. Right. <laughs> So, they ain't got the right mark. Ho, ho. So, T, so w- w- when I put something out there that got a million dollars worth of marketing, it's to make the sport bigger. We love boxing. We love the brothers. Derek, all, all the trainers from all the camps, they know that's what we do. Top rank. Uh, premier, everybody know what million dollars worth of do, game do. We market boxing. Boxing is a sport that was gone. UFC came. Motherfuckers forgot about boxing. Now boxing is popping. You know what I mean? You got brothers like him talking that shit, getting them good clips all over, wearing that shit, being that shit, and it's making boxing better. But I need you to break it down too more because you more the boxing yeah, person too. Cause, Terrence cause, can understand what the fuck's we going hit, on. We hit Terrence up. We see, you know, he said, good fight. You know, you did your thing. You know, just like I hit Arrow up. You feel what I'm saying? He said, uh, appreciate you. 
Wallow texting, but Boots is next. He texts back, you want to see a dead body with the crying faces? We was laughing. This is boxing. You didn't say nothing disrespectful. We we put it out there because we trying to make you guys the biggest that you could possibly be. Because you the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, but you don't get paid like the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And to me, that don't make sense. It don't make sense when the number one pound for pound fighter in the world is doing 600 pay per view, 600,000 pay per view buys, but a kid named Ryan Garcia who ain't never fought for a fucking belt in his life is doing 1.2 million pay per view buys. Because this shit ain't about belts no more. This shit is about popularity. Who know you? How many people yes. following you? Who in tune with you? So when we do shit, we just trying to put light on y'all so y'all can make the most money that you can possibly fucking make. In boxing, because this ain't no play for play sport. Y'all going in and grown ass men try to knock you the fuck out. So I think if you are ranked up here, you should be getting paid like you fucking ranked up here. So that's why we do what we do. We got a lot of love for you, T. We got a lot of love for Boots. We got a lot of love for Charlo, Errol Spence, and the rest of the boxers. That's why we extend our platform to all of the boxers. And that's why we show love to all of the boxes. So that little tweet that you put out there, we gonna let that go because we don't get in our feelings. We leave that for the women and the fucking kids, man. And we love you, bro, but I'm gonna say this too, and I'm gonna leave it with this. Nobody outside of the, the, the promoters really promote boxing. We one of the biggest fucking platforms in the universe, especially coming from the black culture. We interviewed every fucking boxer. We make sure that when the fight coming up, you know that they, all, of, all the training, that they come here and get the promotion, we gonna post you up anyway because we want y'all to go crazy to get that fucking money so we can bring that beat back. That's what it's about. Right. So if motherfuckers say something, ain't nobody saying that personal. This shit, me and him, we laugh and joke all day. Right. We not getting in the fucking ring. Right. I, you know, when I, when I see him, I'm like, damn, I might get around then. But that's me thinking. <laughs> that's not me getting around then. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not getting in the fucking ring with that crazy money. He's, he's with the dumb shit. I'm not getting in there with it. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't want to be biting nobody, none of that. But what I'm saying is it's not personal. We joke and we laughing, but we got to promote this shit. And everybody got to promote it. The fans got to promote it. Throw them clips up. You know what I mean? If he talking that shit, throw it up. I mean, tag somebody. That's what this shit is about. It's about marketing. We got to keep marketing and boxing. If we don't, we're going to be in trouble, man. Okay. We, we got motherfuckers fighting, having bigger fights. It's not even been boxers in their life. They're having bigger fights than boxers. Think about that shit. So we got to keep it, you know, we got to keep going, man. All right, so let me talk yeah. to Charles a little bit. Let's yeah. talk to him. Yeah. Now, there's been boxers before you that went up two weight classes. Yeah. It ain't work out too well for them. That's that's they better. That's they no, no, I'm, I'm just, let me get to, let me yeah, get to yeah. what I'm getting to. Yeah. Kel Brook, he went up two weight classes mm -hmm. for a Triple G. Didn't work out for him. Adrian Broner went up two weight classes and fought Marcus Madonna. It ain't work out for him. Now you got Jamel Charlo going up two weight classes to fight Canelo Alvarez. Mm -hmm. Why is it going to work for you? I'm just naturally a big motherfucker. Straight up. I'm not a little guy. You know what I'm saying? So Canelo got a, uh, the world of boxing only see me when I weigh in, when I fight and shit. They don't know my real size. They don't know that, you know, six feet, you know, they don't know that I can fill out and be the natural bigger guy in that ring. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying like a super welterweight, just because I'm super welterweight when I fight, I go down to make that weight. Yeah. Yeah. But your natural walk around weight is around. I, you know, I, I, keep it, I keep that under, you know, disclosed. I, Oh, I, I thought he was about to say two hundred. I'm about to say three. Nah, nah, I don't get, I don't get that big, not at all. I, I'm, I stay in shape. I stay active. Yeah. Um, but I, I can, I can, I can range from whatever you know. Especially going in a, in a, a fight like this, I can get big. Sometimes the coach told me all the time, "Hey, you're looking a little thick. You're looking a little heavy. You're looking." Yeah, but this is what it is. I, I got this fight. I put on muscle mass. I put on speed. You know, I'm, I'm doing things that 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 work on my agility. Uh, I'm good. You and naturally, you're going to be stronger, too, because you're not cutting no weight. Right. You're and working. hydrated. Yeah, you're not cutting as much weight. Yeah. Correct. So what is the thing with you and Terrence Crawford? Why uh -huh. he keep calling you out? He don't even fight in your weight class. Well, I guess he has plans on moving up to fight in your weight class. But what is it? Is it personal? Is it because it seemed like it's, it's something personal, like he trying to fight everybody in y'all camp. Right, and that, that's cool. I think that Terrence Crawford could be on the marketing point. He could be mm. using it that way because, you know, like I, I hear what y'all was saying, but Terrence Crawford 
problem is he never was with the right people. Before this, he mm-hmm. just got with PBC. He just signed over and got with the right program to me. Mm-hmm. So that's why he was able to make that Earl Spence fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so now that he get, you know, a little his feet wet a little bit and he liking the, the promotion and he liking all of that, you know, he want to bite off a little bit too much he could chew, you know. And, and, and I got Canelo to worry about it. Yeah. At 168. So why the hell am I, you know, we, we'll we talk about 54 whenever we get done with this Canelo shit. Right. We can't even talk about 154 because you might have to meet me at another weight because my boy Earl going to 154. My brother might be moving up to 68 permanently. I might settle at 60 or spend my career somewhere else. I did 54 for a long time. I only right. been to two weight divisions. Right. And I conquered that whole weight division. What else do I got to prove at that division? You fought at 147? I fought at 147 at the beginning. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you must only fought there for about three fights. No, nah, I fought there uh, for a while at the beginning, and then I moved up to 54. Oh, okay. Yeah. I took a, a, a few fights there. I think I won Intercontinental titles, a little small minor titles. Right. One of them jokers. But um, when you look at the 154-pound division, though, you ain't got nothing else to really prove. Nah. And, and mm-hmm. at this point in your life, it, like, what is we talking about? Is we really talking about belts? No, we talking about money. And legacy. Yeah. Legacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We so talk about a big fight fights. like Terrence Crawford obviously makes sense. You know, I commend him. You man, you won, you went in there and beat, a, beat the big fish. You beat the dog. So, you know, whatever contract y'all agree to, you got to fight him again and get that out the way. And then maybe, you know, since you say you want to chop down – you know, walk up that field. I'm a bad motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. What'd he say? I'm going to get in there and dog his ass out. Little ass motherfucker. Like, <laughs> look, you know what I'm saying? And, and he talks some shit. He after this fight. He got on his top of the ring, pointing and not making all this attention. I ain't like I could run in there and talk shit back to you. You barely, barely going to be able to hit me. Yeah. It obviously didn't make any sense. But, hey, I cl- clapped for him, told him congratulations. He bowed. He gave me my respect, and he moved on. You know, and I, I'm cool. I'm 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 gonna always ride with my teammates. Right. If, or if if Terrence was my teammate, then I wouldn't get and, and I didn't fuck with Earl. I would give Terrence the the love that he get. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I would the love that Earl getting. That's just right. how it is. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, hey bro, you fighting my dog, and I no longer gotta be. Oh, I know that that's dead. You right. know what I'm saying? Now you put my man gotta put his life on the line. Right. That's how I feel about it. So it's like he gonna have his little beef and drama. He gonna feel some type of way. I don't give a fuck what he say or what he do. Huh? That don't bother me. Right. You know, you won your belt. You 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 winning. You doing good. You won it at 140. I ain't even fight at that little weight. Right. I ain't never was that small. Right. So hey, if you wanna come up in weight divisions and try to fight someone big as me and solid as me and and gifted and talented like I am, then he gonna run into a problem. Right. I say. One thing about you is, you know, I really didn't understand. Who was who in boxing? I just heard names. Right. I've run across you one time. What's the joint I be watching on a uh, fucking uh, on YouTube? The uh, before the fight joint. What's that shit called, Gil? All access. Oh, yeah. So I was, I'm late night watching that was shit. Was that you or your brother? When on all access? We uh, recently. No, this was an older one. You was on all access though. Just recently though. For the Earl fight? No, no it was no. older. You you was on one before, I believe. Yeah, I had all access. Yeah, he had oh, okay. access. Yeah. So this is the time I sent yeah. you. So I'm, I'm like. I'm like, I'm like, I hit him. I'm like, who is this nigga? Because (laughs) it was the passion. I said, I believe this nigga, man. I don't know what it is. This nigga crazy. I believe him. Because you was dead serious. And I seen like, this wasn't no motherfucking just no boxing shit. It was like somewhere else. Like, where did your passion come from? Because even when you speak, I be believing you. I didn't know nothing about no belts. I didn't know nothing about what position you was in. I just said, yo, this nigga crazy. Who is this nigga? (laughs) Because you just was like, you not... You're not capping, you're not hiding it. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you, I'm gonna let you know. That's your whole style. Where do that passion come from? Cause you got a lot of passion in you. Yeah, I do, I do. I think that's what it, that's that's what's misunderstood about me. I think I'm just passionate. Like it's about wanting to win, a thrive, a, a will. Grow with a twin brother. Mm-hmm. Everything was competition. Mm-hmm. Everything. I don't care if it was from putting on clothes to who eat their food the fastest. I always wanted to, you know, to to be on top, I wanted to win, I, and I and I, I took some losses before, and and in, in, in life and in, in in the ring, and I'm still the same. I'm hungry, so it's like uh, just self-driven, bro. Like I don't, I don't ask nobody. I don't need no motivation. I just want to win. I'm passionate about it. Everything I do, no matter what it is, 
I got a Lamborghini too. I'm passionate about <laughs> yes, it. Sir. Yes, you feel yeah. me? No, you got a cop the Lambo. I, yes, sir. I got Lambos too. Yeah, I seen you. I seen you yeah. got that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, I'm but, passionate about how how they look and how they sound. And if my car going shit on any other Lambo mm-hmm. or be faster or sound louder, I'm with all that. So I'm going to put time into it. The no. color, everything about it. See, what I liked about you too when I told him, I said, not only is he real, this nigga don't know how to lie. If he in a room with somebody, he gonna let you. It, it just, I love, <laughs> no, I love that shit. You yeah. not doing no lying. You not fake. We okay. live in a world where everybody fake and everybody wanna act like, well, I fuck with him just to get this cloud. Or I fuck you not fucking with nobody if you don't fuck with him. Right. And that, and that's what I like about you. Yeah, because he can't like, be here made a fake ass beef up. Yeah, you niggas was talking. I'm like, yeah, you trying to try check us? We ain't even in the like that. I gotta ask my people about it. Right, 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 right. He cool. came in. He came in. Somebody else from another podcast said something. He just put all the old niggas in one book. Why don't you niggas? I'm I'm like, man, I'm fucking trying, 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 trying to figure it out. You know I mean, <laughs> but 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 it's like New York right now. But it's like he checking shit. He running around the whole New York. I'm like checking a couple niggas. Yeah, but let me find out. He was just in there with my motherfucker. Uh, my motherfucking Caucasian bitch. You said something. Nigga, you said something too. <laughs> he probably no, like, what the fuck is trouble? <laughs> I'm going to say this too. Um, I know that you said this. PBC, right? Yeah. They not playing no fucking games out here. Mm-mm. It's just a big difference from a lot of different uh, promoters. Shout out to Al Heyman and the team over there. It's like, they not playing no games with the marketing. Like you said, the shit look crisp. They not playing. It's more marketing. It's more money. Um, and what what is it about PBC? What is it about them? I just feel like PBC is the big leagues. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's tough. You can be a young guy coming up in the making. They gonna put you in there with one or two to get your feet wet. Then they gonna drop you right in that 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 back of the tank and see if you are gonna survive and swim up. And so PBC are like the real dogs. Like it's like air, you gotta understand. Everybody was with Al Heyman, Brittany Goosen, and, and the rest of their teams. They another thing I like about PBC, bro, is they allow the fighter to be a promoter. They will teach the business to the fighters. Yes. They showing the fighters how to win, not just on. And then they they let they handle their own marketing. They got that shit. They got that shit in the back. But then you got like, you know, a competitor like. ESPN, like, I'm sorry to say it, but ESPN is not a, a good competitor for someone like Showtime, who's really the house of boxing. There's no more HBO. Yeah. And HBO after dark. And it's PBC and Showtime has just been doing a phenomenal job for years. And it's crazy that after all them years, HBO gave up on boxing because they thought it was over. Right. They thought his shit was over. Right. Now look at this shit. It's just making a surge and back, and it's just unbelievable. And it's funny you say and that. And then you got people like the, the YouTubers jo- trying to join yeah. this world. Then the YouTubers jumping in. Then now you got the MMA fighters mad about they pay. Mm-hmm. And they ain't boxing. It can't die. It can't. This is a forever sport. How do you feel uh, about the YouTubers jumping into boxing? Just to, I think it's the marketing dope of it. I think it's dope. If yeah. anybody feel like they're a warrior and they feel like they can fight, you, come on, let's see what you got. You know, the the the, the greatest YouTuber that's fighting right now is Jake Paul. Yeah, Jake Paul doing his he thing. He already took a loss from a real boxer. Mm-hmm. But if... The pay per views like is crazy. His numbers are good, and they, they, that was a smart move, a smart marketing aspect. Then he turned around and said, "You know what? I'm a YouTuber, and I'm gonna go and fight an MMA fighter, mm-hmm. a good MMA fighter that won a bunch of fights and a crazy little motherfucker. He yeah. beat him, and and so now he's still staircasing, and that's what boxing about. Boxing is about staircasing and keep winning. Yeah, and I, I'm good. I got a twin. I was marketable from when from I was rip. Came yeah, came out marketable. Mm-hmm. Speaking of speaking on, how was you and your brother fight. relationship? Because looking from the outside, it, it looked like it, it's hot and cold. We love each other on Monday. I'm mad at you on Tuesday. It, we it, love each other on Wednesday. I'm mad at you, nigga, on Thursday. Man, it be it be up and down, dog. Like straight up, me and my brother, it, it just be like you you gotta grow with somebody. You can't just keep, you know. Like as we grew apart because we got older, he got his family, I got my family. But mm. in order to to like you got to just grow with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes I feel like he don't have that, he don't be growing. And, and, I, and I can't chastise him. And I can't, hey, just live your life and run into the errors that you run into. And that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. I be in my own lane. He in his own lane. And then, and then you know, a lot of, a lot of like, not I don't fuck with all his friends. He don't fuck with all my friends. And, you know, I don't fuck with his wife. And he don't fuck with, my, but, you know, we got kids. So we got to try to, like, the kids try to help, you know, mend things. But, Sometimes it's just like let people learn on their own. That's how I roll in. Yeah. And I got a big fight right now, so I got real shit to handle. I can't get distracted by the way he living and whatever he got going on, acting stupid, any of that shit. I'm maturing. I'm I'm growing up as a man. Right. Yeah, I used to run around the boxing world, 
want to punch on everybody and anything and, and whatever and getting in trouble and catching cases. And, and Derrick James has always tried to be in my ear about how to handle myself and, 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 and looking like a fool out there. And then after so many years go by, certain videos have surfaced from years ago. Like one time I was in New York, I think, and it was I don't know, five plus six years ago, eight years ago, I you know, was going off on Adrian Broner and Javante Davis. And I didn't, we cool now, we chilling. But that video just popped back up. Right. Like how that old ass video pop back up, you right. know? That ain't the, that ain't me and you know, who I am right now. Right. And I think that's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta make sure I move uh, a, a, a precise way. Right. Yeah. You know, when you grow up, because you know, when you grow up as men and, and we play sports and mm -hmm. we super competitive. I never had a, a well, I got a brother, but he way younger than me. So it was really me and my cousins. You feel what I'm saying? Super competitive, all around the same age. Like back then, nothing ain't mean more to me than but being better than all of them in basketball. Mm -hmm. You feel what that's like? That that's all that mattered. Like I was gonna be the best cousin to come out this motherfucking family in basketball. So I could imagine how it is when you grow up with a twin brother. Y'all both box. Y'all always in a boxing gym. The two grown ass men. Two grown, two little kids, always full of testosterone. Ah, ain't scared to punch on each other. I could imagine how competitive yeah. it was you know what I mean and probably still is to this day but I do want to tell you coming from somebody that just lost my son mm -hmm. nothing in life is more important than than your family so nothing. whatever y'all going through bro you know y'all could get through it yeah 100%. you know what I mean we work it we work we, we you know been what I'm saying up and down that road before we right. fight through it and we work it out and right you know it you know a lot of it has to and, I, and, I, and it's me, too, a lot, because I got to forgive. I don't be out there doing stupid shit, talking crazy, acting fool. Getting, I don't be doing that and, and embarrassing him. You know, like I built right. this name up. I built this Lions Only shit. Right. So I feel I, I feel a type of way sometimes. Right. But then, you know, it's a, it has a lot to do with forgiving. Right. And everybody got to be forgiving and, and be able to forgive. Right. You know, and that's me, my people, my peers, the people that see me get going through shit with him. They got to understand, like... Is it, it, it? I get to a point where it's not just oh, this your brother, right. this your brother, bro, and I get tired of that shit too. Right. But then I still gotta be like, hey, y'all, we all gonna forgive. Right. We all gotta be on the same page. Right. I try not to have no resentment or any of that type of shit going on. Right. I don't envy him at all. You know, I'm doing my thing in boxing. He doing his thing. Um, look at me right now. I'm going up to 150, 168 in a position he should have been in. Right. And, and I'm gonna get you know it all the way real. That was kind of a shocker to me. When yeah. I when I found out that Canelo was fighting Charlo, I automatically assumed it was your brother. Because I'm like, oh no, he's fighting a 160 pounder. He gonna move up a weight class. And then when it said undisputed versus undisputed, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Like, wait, hold on, he fighting the, the smaller Charlo? Yeah. So, you know, I was even shocked when I seen that. But yeah. they obviously see a, a, a different animal in me. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by ShipStation. Now, you want to talk about some things in life you wish you could automate, like your laundry, you know, cleaning up your house, you know, grocery shopping, all of those type of things that you can't. Well, guess what? ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from everyday marketplace in one dashboard. There's effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, SD, eBay, Shopify, and more. You can manage every order from one simple dashboard, print shipping labels, easily compare rates and deliver times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. With industry-leading discounts, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use the promo code GAME to try to ship station free for two months. So just go to ship station, try to promo game and you can get two months for free. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ship station and 98% of companies that stick with ship station for a year, become customers for life. Go to ShipStation.com and use the code game today to sign up for a free 60 day trial. That's ship station code game. Hurry up and get there. And that's why they would put me in there. And I'm going I'm to stand up on, I'm going to stand on mine. Yeah. Ten toes down, when I get in that ring on the 30th, I'm coming to fight. 
Yeah. I'm coming to go to war. I'm coming to be smart. Whatever, I'm, I'm down for whatever. Right. And I want to say this. You know, um, in this world we live in where we got social media, you and your brother, you know, getting together and loving each other is going to teach this, their, your kids how it's supposed to be because your example is the men in the family of how the connection got to be. And we and y'all just got to be careful because what y'all say or whatever do about each other because the babies got to grow up and see that shit later on in life. Rather they in school, look at your dad, look at your uncle. And, you know, you just want to be mindful because the way y'all love each other, everybody watching, you know, the family watching. And I don't think it's nothing that, you know, you never could get, you know, y'all can't get by. You know what I mean? Just be mindful of that because, you know, y'all do love each other. It's just that yeah. sometimes this shit get crazy. And tough love too. Yeah, tough you know? love. Yeah. And the tough love is necessary because we got to be on each other's ass out here because yeah. if we not, we'd be out here on some fuck shit. Right. But I want to say, I want to get back to something. Uh, this man was talking about competition and growing up. I don't know why you incorporated that. You was a journeyman basketball player. The you never made it as a professional. <laughs> to be, no, I'm just saying, you never made it as a professional to, to be shit. breaking shit down. Don't you shit. told me, yeah, I understand don't, what you was going through. No, the fuck you don't. Ball. You never made it in a professional sport. <laughs> He's talking about professional shit. You incorporate you playing basketball at a fucking high school in a no-name college and try to act like you was, I'm like, I had to catch that shit. I said, whoa. <laughs> fuck you telling me, yeah, man, because I'll go through the competitive shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He be was a journeyman basketball player. In, in, hold up, hold up. You did No, no. <laughs> and he don't know this. And he don't know this. Then he was a bullshit boxer. Got my little cousin fucked up in the ring, <laughs> acting like he was a trainer. He, f you, you, you trained him into a thousand ass whoopings. They was beating the shit out of Mac in the motherfucking ring. You knew that, man. I was a jack. Couldn't believe that shit. <laughs> he lied like a motherfucker. They was beating the shit out of his son. I'm a hell of a trainer. Yeah, he was a trainer. Yeah, yeah, son, I'm a he, hell of a trainer. They call me Gilly that James. Was, where I'm from. Listen, that nigga was that nigga was one in eighteen. Fuck out of here. He was a bum. He was a bum. Fuck man. is he talking? They call me Gilly James. Where I'm from. Fuck is you talk about? You, you fought amateurs. No. Yeah. Mm -mm, I'm fooling the streets. You yeah. get the fuck out of here. Nigga, you know my hands is like, like you going to say in front of that. You can go that ahead and tell don't all count the bullshit stories. Listen, ain't nothing You can go ahead and tell all the bullshit that shit stories. Don't count, man. But when we talk about these hands in the streets, we talk that what shit. we talk about. That shit don't count. Oh, nigga. he too little. Boop, bop, bop. Oh, he's on the ground. Yeah, he was a track star. Drop the. What the fuck track does he talk about? He was short, so you probably had that little man. Yeah, yeah, he did. He had a little. Yes, he did. Yes, I did. Got his ass with the light. Still got it. Yeah, his ass with the light. gonna stay. Listen, you only two inches tall. No, no, you like five, five, eight. Something five like nine. You five eleven. You keep trying to put nine on your shit, man. I am, nigga. What are you talking Whatever. about? I'm going to say five this. You five eleven, right? Hey, six feet. So, yeah, I'm you keep trying to put six on your shit. I ain't shit. five eleven nothing. I'm six feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Balenciaga's on. <laughs> Motherfucker sold this. <laughs> now, now, when you say promotion, it's always about business now. Mm -hmm. And like, like I see it. Uh, I'm seeing, like you said, fighters over They got their own promotional company, mm -hmm. it, you know, uh, with the business. Uh, and I just seen Boots do his own thing. Shout out to Boots, man. A young, I mean, um, I, how do you how do you do all that? You got people that run your own company for you? Uh, yeah, we got a team. You know, we're we're, we're a whole full team. We have got people that you know, if I want to put a fight together right now, we, we you know, because of the love and the, the respect I get in the boxing game. They're going to easily just be like, oh, yeah, they're going to jump on board and do whatever, you know. Damn. So I get that uh, that part. I fund everything. I will fund it. And I and I choose what I want. I, I put a fights together, promotional fights, uh, boxing, professional fights. So it's fun. It's a, it's a part of the game. That's something that I would, would like to do uh, outside of boxing when I'm done with this shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like see if I could find, you know, another uh, fighter that got that lion heart in him. You know, maybe start a whole contender series like it used to be back in the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just make make guys fight for that 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 signing bonus. I think it's a blessing because I'm seeing now and like it's it's on the business. Cause we run across so many fighters that's just like, man, life kicked their ass, man. They ain't got no money. They in a bad situation all across it's the country. Apartment sport. Boxing is apartment yeah. sport. Yeah, yeah, man. And it's fucked up. We be we be in air, different cities. You be like, yo, that's what's the name? I'll be like, that's who? And, and it's fucked up, but to see now how y'all taking it to young people, y'all taking this shit to another level on the business side mm -hmm. and just getting the paper. You know, in boxing, it'll always be one. It used to be one or two people that get the real paper. Now, now everybody getting paper. You know what I'm True. saying? And yeah. it's just a blessing that y'all got your own, you know, uh, promotional companies and man, and y'all gonna be able to get a game to the fighters that come after y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what it's really about, man. But uh, when, when, I, when, I got this, man. So, what you do better than Canelo? I move better than them. Mm, that, my, style, I'm, my style is better. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like uh, my speed is better. I got a lot of attributes. Mm. Um, just I know he's one sixteen. He, he's he's a dog, and he got like sixty some fights and shit. But I'm I'm great at what I do. Mm. Yeah, and. And what I have it will flourish on the 30th. See, I think Canelo now, 
went from being a, a jab, a setup, move my head. Now I just see, when I see Canelo fight, I just see him just trying to rely strictly on power. Now, I, I don't see none of the shit that I used to see against Austin Trout and and none of them type of guys. I just see him walk down. He might slip and it's a <laughs> walk you down. He, <laughs> and it's like, bro, he, you're not going <laughs> if, to, if a person could take your punch, it's gonna it's be hard. Long. It's gonna be hard for you It'll to be win. A long day. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why when he move up to one to 75 and all and fighting Bivo and all them, bro, they could take your punch. So now it's like, okay, once you do that, what you gonna do now? Because you no longer is setting shit up with the jab. I don't see no one twos, no one one twos. Everything is slip, ah! <laughs> slip, ah! <laughs> and it's like yeah. so knock out. He's so, trying to knock something out. So you can definitely make it difficult for him mm -hmm. with your feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? With yeah. your feet and your jab, you yeah. longer than them. You, you, you know, you got definitely got better footwork. You know, Canelo flat foot. Oh shit! All right. say, See, Gilly all James, that. nigga, fuck wrong yeah, with you. Yeah. Hold on, just for y'all that wasn't watching, Derek in the back. Hey, nigga, yeah. he checked you. Fuck is you giving out the game plan? I wasn't with them. Yeah. How I know the game plan, Gilly James, nigga. Fuck wrong. <laughs> we gotta open up a gym. We open up a gym when we go. No, back. now now you want jump on one day. I'm just saying. Now we gotta open up a gym. He just we got some money. Shit about me. <laughs> now you jump on this. See, we gotta open up a gym. We gotta open up a gym. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of here, gym. you bum. <laughs> My nigga I mean, socked him. He rolled up under a car like he worked at Jiffy Lube back in the day. That was, that a nigga was a part of my defense. Dead eye too. That was a part of the defense. No, you know how you, when it when it go that that was a smart. The nigga I was like this. The car protected me. Lou, shout out to Lou with the dead eye. He, he always nigga. talking about this shit. That nigga said. Somebody really is you like that? Yeah, yes. when I was young, it, it don't count. Rolled up it, under the fucking record. car like he it's worked on my at record, but <laughs> uh, you know she got rough that day. <laughs> Look at his face. He's you know sitting there like, yeah, got rough. You went he back and got your lick back. No, he got no, mad as fuck. No. I got the fuck out of here. Luke punched that nigga so see, hard, sound like a, a twenty-two one off. You, you ever see a boxer? <laughs> you ever see a boxer? Get hit? They know if a nigga got shouted out. If you weren't looking, you was like this. Yeah, I, listen, you know, I was young, man. I had to get up out of there, man. And I was retreating. Yeah, that no, was not part of my defense. was young. Lou is fucking young, too. Fuck you yeah, but that was you like an old socks. You may have him thinking old head socks you and he shit. He was a heavyweight. We was old was a, I was a featherweight. He was a heavyweight. Uh, man, no, he wasn't. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, they, I got the fuck about him. He hit yeah. him like a fucking heavyweight. That's yeah, what he did. I got the fuck about him, man. And then, you know, I told you I was nice with my heads, right? So I'm his big cousin. So now he going to come to me. You ain't do nothing. You fucking right. I wasn't getting socked like that. Fuck is you talking about? That was the day I realized I'm not fucking with Lou. Yeah, you he get one fucking eye. I'd, I'd have had to circle to the motherfucker. <laughs> I got. I retreated. I did what was right, man. I shit. Shit got real. He yeah. rolled up under the car though, for real. Yeah, I had to. Had, was up under that motherfucker. The Lou left. He jumped under there checking it, the oil <laughs> the transmission. <laughs> I think cool. he was right. that money now. Yeah, definitely. I did yeah. shit. Yeah. Man, I was he see Lou the That was my sport. That was my sport. Game, no. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm saying. Game, no, I'm bro. part of the gang. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. What you. was your sport? Uh... If, if, if she, he, he was uh, a hell of a wrestler in jail. No, I would say track. <laughs> Captain of the wrestling team. <laughs> I was a boy. Listen, see, I was a boy track. that. I was a boy that. Mar outside of you martial arts. You always got caught. Every, first of all, he did five years in the juvenile system. Then yeah. he did 20 years no, in jail. No, but that's not that's not the case. Dude, that sound like a track runner. No, no, I'm talking about when the, <laughs> when the nigga, shit you come always on. got caught. I'm talking about that. when the shit get real. I was a track star. When uh, shit get a little too, oh, uh, they go Lou and them. Uh, you know what I mean? That's uh, what I'm talking about. I was, man. you know. Here's one of the motherfuckers. You sucker punch into a run. Yeah. He, no, uh, yeah, that shit like that. He, he run the fuck off. You gotta put him up in a headlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got him. He's, he, I be putting him all He's type stronger of than him. Yeah, I be putting him in all type of moves. I just told you, they, they people out here think Canelo's stronger than you. Well, he's stronger than you for sure. Thank you, thank you. He's two hundred pounds. Uh, let me ask you a question. It's people out here that think Canelo is stronger than you, and especially off that Mexican meat. Yeah. Now, I, do do I, that matter? On a, is that gonna matter on the thirtieth? And I'm eating black people oxtails and fucking Ooh, yeah. jerk chicken. But what and I'm all saying that is, yeah. is that gonna yeah. matter I'm on the thirtieth? Good food, peas and rice, and yeah, talk to yeah. Them. And I eat Mexican meat too. Oh, you do? Ooh. Yeah, I'm living Texas, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit right is coming up. off the board. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Mexico right there. <laughs> yeah, that shit coming right <laughs> off the over the board. Yeah, I got my <laughs> love from the Mexicans. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, they down there deep in Houston too. <laughs> hey. So that, you know, that bigger shit don't mean nothing, dog. Yeah. This episode of Me and Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Straight Talk. Are you paying too much for your wireless plan? 
Are you? Street Talk just introduced the new Street Talk multi-plan where more lines mean more savings. Just $25 a line with unlimited data, talk, and text on nationwide 5G. So that's $25 a line. So that means if you got four people in the house, everybody in the house could get phones for $100 a month. Unlimited. 5G. I mean, what are we talking about? Street talk. I mean, Because you straight talking all goddamn day. Ain't no stopping. Because it's unlimited on this for $25. Plus no contracts, no hidden fees, no compromise. That's the Street Talk talking from Street Talk Wireless. Available at Walmart and Walmart.com. So when you're in Walmart, you're paying these high fees. Paying all these extra fees on these phone bills. You got eight people in the house. Everybody got a phone for $200 a month. Talk to me. No, straight talking is talking to you. Holla at Walmart and Walmart.com so you could be straight talking. Right. I get it. I yeah, get see, it. you, you got it. A, you got a style. You, I seen you throw a little punch. Style, nigga, no, no, Let me just tell you something. He said you. This nigga no, no, is, you, I'm you, talking you, about you. He said you. you. Style, but I'm, huh? I'm, yes, but this nigga, you know what? He, all he going, he's running you. to the left hand. No, I'm, no, I'm just going to rest. As long as you throw a straight left out there, he's running into it. You ain't got to, you ain't got to throw nothing else. I'm not yeah. fast. He, he, see, he seen me. I gave him a couple a couple moves before. He the used, fuck out of here. He running he to me to say something, D. He yeah. running around telling motherfuckers that, too. I train arrows. <laughs> Stop sliding. No, I show. Listen, all of them. Arrow, Tank, uh, Terrence, all of them. I showed them all boots. I showed all the moves, and they all be using my shit. Let's see, let me just tell you something. Now, when this is over, he I'm going to show say, the move. Let me show you something. He's, I'm and not then listening. He, yeah, he going to lick because he going to lie. Be running right here. I did. I was training Charlo. Yeah. No, he going to add to my resume. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm putting him on my, you know what I mean? Because when we open the gym up. I, I do that when you open your gym. We open the gym up. I'm telling you, you think I'm bullshit when we go back. I give you the money. We just find, we going to find a building. We get in the gym. You wanna, he want to he wanna open up a gym and lie to all the kids. Yeah, I was training I'm gonna Charlo. I'm going to put all the pictures. I'm going to put all the pictures around Floyd, the gym. I uh, train boots. <laughs> get them fucking kids knocked the fuck no, out. No, I'm not going to train them, though. I'm going to have somebody else train them. We just going to buy a gym. The 30th, man. Yeah. The big lights. Now, mm-hmm. you done fought on some big stages, but it's safe to say, this stage here is going to be the biggest stage you ever fought on in your life. Yeah, for sure. And it's going to be... I mean, they got to put some extra seats in that motherfucker. How many it hold? I don't know. I think like 20,000. 20, that ain't enough. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? But if it's 20,000, it's safe to say that it's going to be... A Charlo night. 12,000 Mexicans in that motherfucker. That's all. And I'm going to have them all on my side after the end of the fight. Mm-hmm. Bam. Mm. So we got a game plan for this shit. If you really got a game plan... Yeah, I do. For sure. You know that at the end of the fight, you're screaming out, Viva Mexico. I don't do that. Huh? I do that. I do that. <laughs> shit. Hell yeah. I do that. Nigga shit. And once I win, Viva Mexico. <laughs> they going to fuck with you, though. Yeah. That's one thing about Mexicans. They love boxing. They they That's like fucking religion to them. They yeah. love this shit. So you go in there, you put on a good fight, they going to respect it. I'm going to get them what they want. How you going to get him out of here? I got some. I got some tactics. I'm saying I'm you, run into you thinking shit. it's a knockout? You thinking it's a decision? You thinking Man, I don't, I'm I don't, just going to win? I, don't, I ain't going to tell you what it is right now. Okay, that's I'm why I like that. I'm strong like that, though. I'm poss- it's a possibility. It's a don't blink situation. Every fight, every time I, I'm in there. And so I'm going to go get this dude out of there. He's going to want a rematch. Then I'm going to go and get your other boy out of there, though. Well, he ain't y'all boy because he, he cuts y'all out. So No, he just cuts me out. That's still my boy, though. I yeah. still the best of money yeah. on him. Yeah, all right, but it don't matter. Mm-hmm. Against Charlo? No, I'm not saying I don't even know what's going on with that. They, they didn't do different uh-huh. weight. I don't know what the fuck. You got to uh-huh. educate me first before I make my bet. <laughs> you always, I always sit down to you. All right, so how did this make sense? What do who, who do? He was in a different weight. He weighed more than him. I'm not betting. I know what. You're not just gonna throw my money out there like that. Shit. Yeah. But so, no, no, so no. that's the plan. Yeah, I got a plan. Yeah, I always. Well, got I, a plan. Well, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. If that's the plan, that's that's a hell of a cash out. Right. I'm at a good point. The in my 30th, career. and then go here and fight. Oh, that's I want to fight him in December again. Damn, that's and, a hell of a and cash out. And start the next year somewhere around. He ain't fucking you know playing. What I'm and, and and knock off your boy. I'm knocking everybody off. They fuck. That's what it's. That's what it's about. But my boy Earl got to fight him again. 
Mm-hmm. So my boy Earl gonna get his so rematch. So that's definitely going down. He won his rematch. Yeah, I believe. One thing about Earl, I believe. Yeah. That motherfucker. He won his rematch let me at just, a bigger way. Can't let me dream just, me. Let me just tell you something. Fight. Sometimes a motherfucker could lose in a ring and you could gain more respect for him. Yeah. Because the bottom line was, if the referee don't fucking stop that fight, he was going. that fucking man don't stop coming, man. Yeah, he was going to keep fighting. Yeah. So, you know, to me, it's like, even even with Villa, like, it's like, they should have, when he was fighting Boost, they should have stopped their fucking fight in the eighth round, man. And it's like, that motherfucker just he is not going to stop coming until he can. not You just got to kill a motherfucker basically in the ring. So, yeah. you know, as, as a boxing fan, I respect that shit. You know what I mean? I respect motherfuckers that put it all on the line. That's why I had to hit him. And, and to me, looking at the fight, looking at Earl, looking at all of his fights coming up, he just didn't look himself that night. He just looked off from like the second round. He just looked a little off to me. And I told him that, you know. It's, you know I think it's, it could have been a lot of little different situations. Yeah, you know, but I, it, I know he trained his ass off, and I know, mm-hmm. you know, that weight just not his weight no more. Yeah. Uh, that's that's yeah. the only thing I can say. I don't want to get no excuses because he didn't that, get no excuses. And so, I say that, I said, yeah, bro, that weight wasn't. It looked that, like the weight yeah. fucked him up, man. Yeah. You know, and you gotta I understand, my fucker been my pro for what nine years, ten years. Yeah. 11 years to stay at one weight class, bro? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Nobody don't fucking do that. Yeah. You got to understand, Shakur Stevenson already done moved up two weight classes. That's why Devin Dante Haney, moved up. that's why up. Devin Haney is going to struggle if he continue to fight at 135 because you outgrew that shit, bro. You When you get on the scale and you look motherfucking like this, Nigga, you outgrew that weight class. You just fucking killed your fucking self. You look like a fucking skeleton on that scale, yeah. bro. So, you know, at the end of the day, you sometimes you got to, I think if, I, honestly, me personally, I think once you fight Canelo, I don't think you coming back down. I don't know, bro. I'll I do whatever. I do. I can make it. I'm not like the other fighters that got that little curse you talking about. I, I I can move. I never seen no fighter go up to weight classes gotta, though and come I, back down. I, I I could do it. I know. I, I got, know. I believe you I gotta, can do I it. I got something in, in a system that nobody got. I got something in in a, in a system that nobody got. All right. It's LS threes back in the day. You know, you got old cars. Well, he got yeah. one of them right now. I told you I'd be believing him. He, <laughs> it. he got some shit going on. We might got to bring him in in our gym. Give him some percentage. Right. Fuck that. Right. Uh, he's, oh, fuck what yeah. you mean? He just told me he got some shit. Man, that nigga gonna be somewhere in Houston eating off of us. Yeah, so much check. Yeah, we send it to him. As long as you give me that formula, you I'm tell a, me about. I'm give all, yeah, I got the formula. I'm talking about the formula, nigga. Yeah. You tripping? Yeah, for sure. I got in my own gym too, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, y'all are eating, bro. Y'all, nigga, y'all yeah, he, doing y'all thing. I'll be watching. Yeah, he not playing. I'll be watching. Got a fat ass gym. Nice that house. Crib. Nine or ten cars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talk heavy. What, what's your favorite car? Bust load of money. I'm good. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite car? Mm-hmm. Um, my uh, my Lambo Aventador. Yeah, he not playing. That's a big one. For sure. For sure. He not playing. That's a big. Second boy. favorite car. My yours. <laughs> That's all lamb shit. Just one more. Third favorite car. Uh, I'm just I'm just I doing gotta, this for all you boxes. I, That's I, I not a, really eating. I got a Mega Raptor truck. He not playing. A what? Um, Ford made a, a truck called the Mega Raptor. It's an F three fifty, big joint. Sick. I got my Maybach too. My G wagon go crazy. Everything playing. shoot fire. I love my shit. I own them, so that's why I ordered them. The way he, I did. He, he go crazy on them. That's that fucking real boxing money. I what? got a sprinter that I could drive back and forth to Dallas. Mm. Got a shower and the beds and mm. the stove and the. Mm, the ERA. Let me ask you a question though. Mm. No, nigga, don't stop no, 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 nigga no, no. when they talk heavy like that. Fuck, bro. No, 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 no. ERA. They need to know. <laughs> when did it turn up for you when that money really hit? Um, Where was you at in your career? Nah, I had already. I was already a world champion. So That's when about, it hit. Yeah, I was. I was already. Uh, yeah, for sure. Whenever I got with Al Heyman. Oh, see. Yeah. Keep telling. 2013, them. 14. <sighs> I've been a boxer. I've been a professional for 20 for for. Probably longer than most of these guys, but 15 years, 15 years plus. How old are you? I'm 33, dude. You know oh, that. So, so you so you you turned you at just told 18. Me I was 33. I turned pro at 17. 17. I was in high school still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn. 
fucking killing them, man. Boxers got to get they sh- got to give it to the right people in this fucking joint, man. This joint is about the right people in that marketing and promotion, man. For sure it is. It's about that marketing and fucking promotion. <laughs> they got niggas with belts that they living in the fucking projects, man. Yeah. What the fuck? I got I to gotta start marketing these niggas. We got to sign some niggas up, man. They ain't not even getting no money. They ain't a G-Wagon. They on a G-Bus. The public transportation. Niggas got belts on a G-Bus. Come on, man. This nigga just said they ain't nine cars. And a fucking bus with a shower and a mega yeah, Raptor Sprinter. with a with a fucking I ain't some shit I ain't never heard of. I heard of a F two fifty. These niggas, I got a F three fifty. They go what? Yeah, I ain't never fucking heard of it. What else you got? Um, what else I got? Sure. Oh, I was about oh, to say. I got the Maybach truck. Yeah, I said that. I think. Yeah, you're not playing, man. Yeah, I got, I got two Sprinters. Yo. So life has been it's safe to say. Life car, has been little, good too. A smart car. Smart car too, like a smart car, like a little yeah. play around. Yeah, yeah. my eleven year old daughter be driving around in it, playing around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's some fun. How many kids you got? I got three. Three. Yeah. How long you been in a relationship? Uh, I've been in a relationship uh, about four or five years. Four or five years. Yeah. That's I got a two year old, two year old son. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Jamel Junior. I got a uh, uh, outside of this relationship, I got a son. Uh, he for, about to be fourteen next week. That's yeah. what's up. He, he plays sports. Like, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll run it back. Oh, man. Would yeah. you let him box if they wanted to? I think uh, I think that would that that be up to him. I don't think he want to do no boxing. Yeah. I, I, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know a lot of dads that box be like, nah. I, I let him box, though. I mean, I want my son to have hands. Run through whoever do something wrong, you know? Yeah, but I'm talking about like on a professional type of, you know what yeah. I mean? I want everybody to box. I want everybody to have hands. So he might box now and turn pro and... I don't know, man. I'll teach him boxing and yeah. see where it go from there. Yeah. Yeah. You ever played any other sports other than boxing? Yeah. I was a, a, a football player. I played football in high school and all that. Oh, okay. What yeah. position? A quarterback. Quarterback? Damn. Quarterback. quarterback. Corner. Quarter. And I played cornerback in middle school. So, so you you got an arm? I could throw. Yeah. I'm solid. Damn. Any yeah. scholarships, Clint? Man, anybody nah. here vouching for this shit, man? <laughs> anybody here? D, you been with for that long. <laughs> That, well, I, I hadn't seen a picture, but he told me that from the first day I met him. Just like he told you. They went to high school with me? School. Wait, hold on, hold on. We went to high school with him? Now you play quarterback. What, all right, was he? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. My dad played quarterback, man. He played quarterback, mm-hmm. but he was better at knocking niggas out, huh? He like he played quarterback, but the nigga had eight completions all season. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking coach ain't want to take it without him. He's gonna knock the coach I, I, the fuck. Hey, we, we, we ain't talking about my football career, bro. We ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that. We ain't, I, I can hoop. I ain't hoop though. See, we ain't talking about that, John. <laughs> that nigga said we ain't talking about that. Though. Huh? No, but we, we is talk talking about, about the undisputed champion, hundred and fifty four pounds. Make sure y'all tune in. August 30th, right? September 30th? Yeah, September, September 30th, yeah. September 30th. Make sure y'all tune in for the biggest fight of the year. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Biggest fight. Of the year. So if you win. It's undisputed no, versus I ain't going to say if you win. I'm going to say when you win. Right. Where should you be at on the pound for pound list? No, man. I don't, they don't like me. They ain't really like me. They don't like my demeanor. They don't like my attitude. They don't like how I flow. How I roll. You ain't no so. ass kisser. But they ain't That's like Floyd is. either. They had to put him number one. Yeah. Well, if they put me, they put me. You don't get paid to be on a pound for pound list. So no, but they should that. respect you, though, as yeah, that. They, they, because they, if they got Canelo up there as number one or number they'll two. They'll respect me when I'm done with the game. And they don't get to see me no more. They'll respect me then. Then they go back over the old videos and all these moments like this. Mm-hmm. And then they'll give me my accolades. But I'm cool without, a, without all of that. It keep me humble. It make me fight harder. It gave me motivation and inspired me to keep going while I am boxing. My book ain't, my chapter is not finished in the sport, so it's cool. I seen the day when y'all was at the uh, press conference, y'all kept it real professional. Where? Uh, when y'all was standing on stage somewhere, y'all looked oh, at oh, each yeah, other, y'all yeah, shook yeah. hands, oh, yeah. y'all kept it real professional. I um, would like to think by the time the fight is going down, it's going to be a little different. Hey, we gotta get in there to fight. That's 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 the most important part. But I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing crazy to say. Canelo did what he had to do. No, absolutely. I, I respect that. 
I respect all of that. He ain't talking shit to me. He ain't on that bullshit because what? some fighters they be running their mouth and disrespecting you and disrespect. I ain't I ain't got time for that shit no more. But I'm, sometimes though, that's called I'm selling come, the fight. I'ma come in this fight. We ain't gotta sell it when you're great. The fight is two great fighters. If you know the sport of boxing. You you gonna watch all the accesses. You gonna see what's going on in the gym. You gonna know that we training. Watch the social medias. I, I I I'm not here to be stupid. I'm done with that trying to be stupid. Mm-hmm. I got children watching and mm-hmm. family watching to see me try to become great. And my coach be in my neck, and and, and the other coaches be in my neck. So I don't got time to be trying to like the wallet. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm-hmm. Fuck that shit. We don't gotta go mm-hmm. talking crazy about this nigga and his family and his people and all that. No. I got my country on my I back. Mean, he got I, his country yeah. on his back. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, when I say sell a fight, I ain't, I ain't talking about disrespect. It might be a little nobody. bit. Of, it might be a little bit of shit talking with that. Crossing yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It ain't, it ain't, I ain't sound about talking about nobody family because at the end of the day, if I gotta fight you and we fighting each other, it ain't no need for me to be talking about your motherfucking family. I'm talking about what the fuck I'm gonna do to you when we get in there. Well, that's, so, that's, that's 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 the way. That's yeah, what I kind of I understand. Yeah, you know. That, yeah. So to me. And, and to me too, a lot of boxers be sensitive to to, and I'm not I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about because I had to tell another boxer on here. He said no, but he be disrespecting me, and I'm like, bro. Every time I hear the man talk, he talking some boxing shit. Mm. Some I I fuck you up. I knock you out. I to me that's not disrespectful of you in the boxing world. Like, if, if my man a boxer and I'm a boxer, and I'm like, no, dog, I'll knock you the fuck out. To me, that's not disrespectful. How do y'all look? I look at it as like we we fighters. That's what we do. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. You I, know what yeah, I mean? That's, that's that's how it should be. But you're right. A lot of these motherfuckers just be sensitive and 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 and, and got a lot of fear in their heart. It's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ain't going to run around here. Oh, everybody in the world saying Canelo this and that. But I got, a, I got like a, a hidden confidence in me that I know – it's going to shock the world, and I can't wait to The explore. formula. He got the formula. I got that formula. I'm telling you. I'm he got the formula. Well, yeah. listen, I'm going to tell you right now, and I don't do no bluffing because I'm going to post my ticket. Yeah. I'm going to bet 10000 on you. Yeah. Because you're going to be the underdog, so I'm hoping they do something ridiculous. I hope they make you a plus 800 or something. Whew. Shit, a plus 600 or some mm-hmm. goofy shit. Go ahead and fuck up. Yeah. So I can cash out. That's what's up. So I'm telling you right now. That's what's up. I'm betting ten thousand on you, and uh, you gonna see it. Somebody from your camp will be like, "Oh, Gilly posted the ticket. He definitely yes. bet that motherfucking paper. He wasn't lying. Right? He bet that ten thousand. I'm gonna post it the week of. Like, yeah, I just bet on Charlo. Right? Yeah. So we gonna celebrate together on September 30th around 12:15 in the morning. For East sure. Coast time. Yeah, East Coast time, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now hold up. Before we go, right now in the game, not excluding people from your camp, who are your top fighters right now that you look at and say, "Damn, he got, he got game." Like he, he, he that top five fighters that you, you just mean check like, out. Uh, as far as like uh, that you skills. Yeah, that you. Boxing? Yeah, skills that, that, that you like. That you like top five. I like Lamachenko. Okay. Yeah, I think he's solid. Tank Davis is solid. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. I kind of got to see a little bit more Crawford, but I think he's solid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a challenge. You know, he'll, put, he'll possess a challenge. Uh, and Tyson Fury, he mm-hmm. a monster. That's you a know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And 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 that's about it right now. And it's good, cool, too. Okay. And it's cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, outside of that, it's tough. It's, you know, uh, Andrade, Andr- Bubu Andrade, yeah. uh, it kinda, he got to show me a little bit more as mm-hmm. well. You know, so shit. That's he about it. to fight Benavidez though. Yeah, so that's Benavidez it. is another one. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah he get in there to come to fight. That's a all of the. This is all PBC. This is a, a I know. I world. Pe- Think about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got some solid fighters on our roster as a, as a as a promotion, as a team, as a network. We we ready. We 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 it. We the new world of boxing. PBC is beast. You know why? This is the first time we ever did a show. But a boxer, they got a cameraman here, PBC cameraman. They yeah. on point with their marketing. Yeah, they on point. Uh-huh. Look, he's a this is a professional he ain't us no PBC hats cameraman. Nothing, he ain't bring no hats though. <laughs> but he not playing. Y'all, they not fucking playing about this shit. Yeah, that that's what it's about, My dog man. Ryan, he cool. Yeah. He always rocking with us. Shout out to Al, man. No, no, man. For sure. That's what's up, man. But we appreciate you appreciate pulling you up coming, on us, man. man. Yeah. Uh, September thirtieth, the it's biggest fight of the year. Uh, pay per view. Yeah. 
I'm going to do a prediction right now. One point four million pay per view buys. Solid. This is going to be the biggest fight of the year. Yeah, it's going I, up. I think Tank and them did one point two million. This right here is going to do one point four million or more pay per view buys. I'm gonna speak this shit into existence. Then y'all gonna come back and say Gilly said it. Almost two. Almost two. We're gonna say one point. I'm gonna say one point seven. One point seven. Shit. Yeah, that's good. 1. I'm 7. saying at least one point four minimum. Seven. At least mm -hmm. 1.4 million pay per view buys mm -hmm. because that's our mm -hmm. cue, by the way. Right. Yeah, he hit, he hit. <laughs> Right. Because our plane, plane, hey, the plane good? Yeah. So uh, September they talk, 30th, they talk, they could talk, make sure y'all tap in. <laughs> yeah, pay per view. Yeah. And it's just like that. Right.